Was Jesus the first person to rise from the dead? Hi, uh, this is Father Thomas Aquinas Pickett here at Blessed Sacrament Parish in Seattle, Washington. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday day. I hope you're having a great one. Um, this is a pretty interesting question. Was Christ the first person to rise from the dead? And there's actually a lot at stake in this question. Because basically, you know, if you think about it, you know, if, if rising from the dead has been done before, you know, then what's so special about Christ doing it? Colossians, for example, uh, calls Christ the firstborn from the dead. So, did Colossians get it wrong if other people were raised from the dead, even before Christ? And if rising from the dead has happened before already in human history, then kind of the, the uniqueness of Christ doing it is, is gone. You can ask the question, well, you know, why go through the whole drama? Why go through all the pain and the suffering of the cross in order to do something that's basically been done before? You know, it seems like kind of God's, God's lost his creative edge a little bit if, if other people have been raised from the dead and then Christ is just kind of copying them. You know, can't God do something a little more creative? Because, you know, when, when you look at Scripture, it's kind of clear that Christ is not the first person to rise from the dead. You know, you can go in the Old Testament, for example, in First uh, Kings chapter 17. Elijah, the prophet, prays over uh, and raises up the widow's son from the dead. Um, it, it, the scripture says, The Lord heard the prayer of Elijah. The life breath returned to the child's body, and he lived. And then later on in 2 Kings, Elijah's successor, Elisha, basically kind of does the same, the same act. He, he raises the, the, the son of the Shunammite woman. And it says that uh, after... Uh, Elisha does his prayer and he kind of does this kind of interesting gesturing. The boy sneezed seven times and then he opened his eyes. He, he came back to life. It was a very powerful sneeze. Uh, so powerful, he came back from death. Um, plus, you have uh, Christ already raise a whole bunch of people from the dead uh, before his own resurrection, right? He raises Jairus' daughter from the dead. You know, the Talitha Kum, little girl, I say to you, arise. He, he, he raises the widow's son at, the, at, at Nain. You know, there's the funeral procession coming out of town and Christ goes up and he raises the, raises the son from the dead. And the, and the guy starts talking. Uh, he raises his friend Lazarus from the dead. And that's even after four days of, of being dead. And when Christ is crucified, this is, this is an interesting one that I, I think sometimes we can miss. Uh, when Christ is crucified in the Gospel of Matthew, in chapter 27, what happens? At the moment, you know, the, the, the veil of the temple is torn, and then there's an earthquake, and then tombs open up, and the bodies of, of holy people were, were raised. And later on, they're, they're seen walking around. So it's pretty clear from Scripture that people were raised from the dead before Christ was raised from the dead. So... Did Colossians get it wrong? Is, is scripture wrong in saying that Christ is the firstborn from the dead? Because that's a pretty big thing to, to miss. So, enter St. Thomas Aquinas, okay? He, he's our champion here for theology. Um, in the third part of the Summa, question 53, article 3 on the resurrection, he right off the bat makes a really crucial distinction, which I think is pretty nifty. He says... There are basically two ways of being raised from the dead. There's, there's two ways to overcome death. And there's two ways to have life restored. Okay, On the one hand, the first way is being saved from actually dying. Being saved from the act of death. And then, on the other hand, there's being saved from the possibility of dying. There's, there's being saved from the potential of death. Saved from the act and saved from the potential or the possibility. So, in Scripture, there are lots of people who, who had their life restored to them, who have the act of death overturned, undone. All those people that, that, that were resurrected from the dead before Christ 
and even miraculously after Christ, you know, for example, Dorcas, good old Dorcas in Acts chapter 9, they were all restored from the act of death. The act of death was undone or kind of reversed. However, however, they're going to die again. Their resurrection, therefore, is kind of imperfect. They're raised from the dead, but they're going to die again. But perfect resurrection, which is the second kind of resurrection, perfect resurrection is where life is restored in such a way that the very possibility of dying again is itself destroyed. So St. Thomas says in this article, citing St. Paul, speaking of perfect resurrection, Christ is the first of the risen, because by rising, he himself is the first one to arrive completely at immortal life. Following from Romans chapter 6, Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. So, Christ's resurrection is perfect. It is a resurrection of life so that he can never die again. And that's why Christ's resurrection is leaps and bounds beyond anyone else's resurrection. And that's why you can say that he is truly the first person raised from the dead. Because not only is the act of death undone, but the very possibility of dying is obliterated. So, in, in a certain sense, we can think of all those other resurrections in the Bible, like when, when Elijah raises the widow's son, uh, we can think of that kind of like, um, like resuscitation. Okay, they're brought back to life. But that resuscitation is, is still temporary. The underlying problem, the underlying disease, the underlying you know, kind of power of death is still present. It still haunts them. They're, they're still captive to that. Whereas Christ's resurrection, on the other hand, is like a complete purging out of his humanity, the very power of death itself. So the next question I think that we can ask, and it's the one that St. Thomas asks in, in question 53, is, well, okay, Christ, Christ's resurrection is very different. He is the firstborn of the dead. He'll never die again. But what caused his resurrection? What, what actually raised Christ from the dead? Did Christ raise himself from the dead? So that's going to be our, our next video. Uh, if you like this one, uh, you know, like, so <laughs> let me know. Uh, you can subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see where St. Thomas goes with this in, in our next video. Anyway, I hope, you, I hope you have a great day. Hope you stay healthy, stay holy, and I hope that you stay awesome, okay? God bless you all. Take care.